Well, every summer and winter, we try to show off great things to see and do around Minnesota. And this weekend is one of the craziest. <laughs> it is. Mark Rosen and Amelia <laughs> Santanello are in Walker for Eel Pout Festival. Thank you for showing us the craziness. Yes, thanks, you two crazy kids. Oh, yes, yes. And it is growing and growing. Now, we're at the Chase and the Lake, Chase on the Lake, rather, ice tent. This is the eighth year that they've had the party. It keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Just several years ago, they have an ice car bar. Right. And we found out that John Franks, the man who did that, also did the WCCO4 ice carving behind us, and that is a shot luge in actuality. Yeah, I will yeah. maybe try that later on. I'm just so <laughs> glad you're here to experience this for the first time. You just can't make this stuff up. This is a nonstop party, we know, for three days, whether you're out in a fish house on the lake or inside the tent here, the Chase on the Lake tent. It's nonstop fun. Let me give you a good example behind us. You take a look at the beer pong tournament that's going on behind us, right next to us. I'm not quite sure what this getup is. Looks like these guys invaded Chris Schaefer's closet from 1985. This started a few years ago with 20 teams. They're now up to 60 teams. Yeah, and another fun thing for anyone to try is the pout boot. You kick a field goal and win a prize. So Rosie and I gave it a shot. And you just got to get this ball over that uh, crossbar. It's $10 a kick. You get in two different uh, separate raffles. This is a fundraiser for Walker Hackensack Akeley Schools, specifically hockey, soccer, and golf. They're totally unfunded and self-funded. If you hit a boot or the pout, and I'll have a okay. few more pout hit sit, hanging here as soon as people bring them in, then you're in the big raffle. The secret is the hitter squared. It's like any good <laughs> kicker will tell you. Just, you know, swing that leg and work that hip a little bit, and good things will happen. Eight-yard field goal attempt. Vikings a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Are you putting that much pressure on yourself? I love the pressure. Oh, so close, but yet so far. <laughs> hey, is that ball set up right? Perfect. Oh, gosh, why didn't I do it? I'll take responsibility. It didn't tee it up right. You didn't tee it up right. Time out. So I approach it, kick it underneath. They said underneath. How's the wind blowing? <laughs> Put your finger on okay. it. Don't they do this? I need some encouragement here. Come on, Rosie, Rosie, bro. Oh! Go a little, a little short. short. Oh. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, a big sorry to photojournalist uh, David Porter. It was a close call he for stayed. David. He didn't move. I give him credit. He did not move a muscle. He's a professional. Uh, he was a real pro. Uh, you know, it's difficult. I'm really surprised. I thought, what's a field goal? Then we step back at 27 yards. And that was very far. Now, that's where we got new boots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, now we understand what Blair Walsh went through. We saw that. A million Mark Walsh. Were there. you too drunk when you were doing that? <laughs> no, but it was freezing out there, and it was windy, it was Slippery. raining, and we had heavy boots on. So that all of yeah. the above Little were saying too that's much our beer excuse. Pong beforehand. A lot all right, of guys. circumstances. Yeah. That's what she said. Sounds like yeah. very interesting. Okay, uh, so that now the tent you're in is actually on the lake, correct? Yes, it is on the lake, right outside of the hotel, Chase, on the lake. We are on the lake. It's frozen. Fan right. Fantastic. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, okay. I don't know what the question was about. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, go to the, the shot luge. Thanks, we guys. We need to breathalyze those two, Liz. Uh, next week, Chris and I are going to close out the going to the frozen lake trip in Wabasha. We're going to be there Thursday and Friday to preview the Grumpy Old Men Festival. It's